Hi everyone, it's me again, Kiana, and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see from the title of this video, we are doing my July wrap up. In the month of July, I ended up reading a total of eight books. Six I own, two I do not. I got them like it is an e-copy. But let's just go ahead and get started with this video. The first book I finished this month is Desperate Measures by Katie Roberts. This is basically Disney's but We follow Jasmine and Jafar, Jasmine's father was this evil man who owned like a certain part of this of Carver City and he ended up selling Jasmine away to Ali who was you know Jasmine's prince and um, Aladdin that's uh, who Aladdin is and she ends up getting saved by Jafar and kind of becomes his sex slave everything is consensual in this world um she ends up falling for him when she knows she shouldn't and stuff like that this book was amazing and i ended up giving this a four out of five i think it was a five out of five stars my bad it was five out of five stars and it ended up me buying almost the entire collection as well the second book i bought was i mean <laughs> read was fairy tale buying five by hiramashima we pick up where we leave off in volume four with them still trying to help fix the people who are cursed under the moon that they end up turning into monsters as the moon you know glows we find out more on great history and why he is the way he is and i absolutely loved it it ended on such a cliffhanger that i cannot wait to start you know volume six and see where that goes from there absolutely enjoy this cannot wait to read the next one i give this a four out of five stars as well i then read my poetry collection which is pillow thoughts by courtney peppermill and this is broken down into about like seven or eight parts for like if you love someone if you miss someone if you're a lost soul for you to stay and stuff like that i enjoyed some parts more in the front than i did in the back which is my thing i related to more stuff but then towards the end when she started with the things like oh if you're missing someone if you feel lost it was more like she was writing about herself than for things in general which is understandable this is her poetry collection we have to understand it we have to relate to it but i just i didn't and i think that's why i rated it three out of five stars i honestly don't know if i would read this poetry collection again but like i said i stated like i stated i enjoyed the beginning more than i enjoyed the end i then read the girl from the sea by molly knox ostertag and this follows a 15 year old girl named morgan who has a secret she is gay but nobody on this tiny island that she lives in knows she ends up getting saved by this girl named kelty when she slips and falls into the sea and she almost ends up drowning kelty saves her and morgan thinks kelty is weird but she is kelty is a seal that is trying to get morgan to help because every seven years these certain seals can turn into human and she's trying to get morgan's help to try to help her stop her friend from having this yacht go around where the seals live because it could end up killing them i enjoy this i give this a four to five stars i wish kelty didn't lie to morgan in the beginning to try to get her to help other than that i really did enjoy it we see morgan come out of her shell we see morgan finally come to terms with her sexuality but again did enjoy this another graphic novel i read is witch light by jessica zabarski we follow two girls lecky who is a witch who's this like thief who's trying to find the other half of her candle so she can live a long and prosperous life and then we follow a girl named sanjay who sanya who is the daughter of this merchant one of her brother was disgraced and isn't welcome back in the family. Lucky kidnaps Sonia. They go on this mission to try to find, um, to try to find, you know, Lucky's other half of her candle. What happened to Lucky's family? I did enjoy this. I think I gave this a three out of five stars if I remember correctly. I just didn't enjoy the like standard hateness against witches. That was one thing I really didn't enjoy. But other than that. I think I gave it a four out of five stars. More now that I think about it, three and a half. I believe the next book I read is Ghosted in LA. I forgot who it's by, but the photo will be up like right after. 
we follow this girl who basically her entire personality is only ever based on her boyfriend or who her best friend is and that's one thing that kind of bothered me when her boyfriend dumps her when he realizes he's gay but she just doesn't know it she somehow finds her way into this abandoned mansion and meets these ghosts um and they kind of don't want to let her go because nobody's supposed to know that they lit that they're like there nobody's supposed to know that ghosts exist and we see somehow these ghosts like backgrounds how they became ghosts this girl starts living with them running errands for them and she's just like dragged into their um like weirdness i enjoyed this gave it a four out of five stars i will continue on to the next volume maybe soon I then finally read The Lost Wicca White by Cassandra Clare and Wesley Chu. This is the second book in the um, Odious Curse trilogy. You cannot wait for the third book. And in this one, we follow Magnus, Alec, Clary, Jace, Isabel, and Simon as Magnus is stabbed by this really magical sword and the, and the Book of Light is stolen. And he is stabbed by his friend Ragnar who, you know, faked his death back in, I think it's like City of Ashes, City of... I think City of Ashes, City of Glass, one of those books. And we see the girl from the first book, Shin Yu, and they have slowly become the followers of Samuel. So we're trying to figure out why they stick the Lost Book of White, why they stab Magnus, and how in the world are they bringing back Samuel from the dead. I enjoyed this. As you can see, I tabbed it up. I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars, and I cannot wait to see how this third book will conclude it. I will say you will notice who writes what chapters. You will notice when Cassandra writes and you will notice when Wesley writes, which I do love because I just don't want it to blend together. It is a, you know, two authors writing. We should be able to tell what author is writing what. I did enjoy this. And then the last book I read is Learn My Lesson by Katie Roberts. This is the second book in the Wicked Villain series and this is the Hades, Meg, and Hercules um, trilogy. Hades basically gives Meg the task to go screw Hercules, who is the son of Zeus, who is, of course, Hades' enemy from like 30 years ago because Zeus killed his first wife and his first son. Hercules ends up falling for Meg's, and of course, him being the wonder boy that he is, he, like, is in his mind now. He has to save her. He has to do right for her and all of this, but he does end up falling with her. He basically sells his soul to Hades to try to get Meg out of the deal and we just see the banter between them three and I really really enjoyed this I just didn't love it as much as the first book so I gave this a four out of five stars so those are all the books I read in the month of July I believe in here on the side of me two videos you guys go check out I try to post twice a week sometimes life gets in the way sometimes work gets in the way and I'll hopefully see you guys very soon with another video